In today's video, we're going to be installing the doors and the windows for our garage. Hey guys, I'm Martin. I'm Julie. And we're building a debt-free off-grid homestead from scratch <laughs> here in North Idaho. We make videos every week documenting our progress, so please consider subscribing. This is the window we got for the garage. It is a four by eight. Yeah, four by eight window. It's going right here in this big opening right there. We'll open it up, I'll show you what we got, and then uh, we'll prep that opening for actually installing the window. Wow, look at that. Is it ice? I think it's ice. <laughs> yeah. It's cold in here. Yeah, it's <laughs> definitely a lot colder now. It's like 27, I think, today. Yeah, so basically it's just one big window here in the middle and then a, two sliders on each side. That way we can get some good air circulation going through with the two sliders, but also get a lot of light coming in that window. Do something kind of crazy. That is one dirty window. Jules brought it back the other day on the trailer. And just from all of like the sand and wetness on the road getting all over it. Way dirty. Yeah, when I die, I wanna know I will die cut the house wrap out and so now I am just going around and stapling the house wrap to the indoor inside frame of the window. Make pictures look like postcards. All right so we got this flap taped up right here out of the way. I think it's time now we're gonna put the window in and see how it fits. We're gonna take the window out, then we're gonna cock around the edges and then get it put back in. All right, so we've got this uh, black rubber sealing stuff. I forget what it's called. Anyway, it goes part way up each side and all the way across the window sill here. And then it'll come up, up like this. I'll show you how we put it on. It doesn't like to stick very well when it's cold. We might have to get Jules' blow dryer out here. <laughs> Heat it up. All right, hair dryer to the rescue. We're gonna run this off of our solar system. <laughs> Normally you don't run hair dryers, right? When you're off grid. We can do it, but we wouldn't be able to do it like all day long. No. This is... Like 1500 watts, so it takes quite a bit of power to run a hairdryer. That's a luxury. <laughs> but look, it's doing it. Oh, dude, that's nice and warm. <laughs> oh, you got the cushy job. You should do your hair. My beard? Yeah, do your beard. I bet that feels good. Oh, man, dude. <laughs> Distracted. Squirrel. Remember when we had to do this to the whole ice? and uh oh yeah ice and snow shield on the house on the roof yeah that works for that really well too if we have to do this for a long time we'll have to run the generator how's it working good seems to be working all right are your hands nice and warm pretty warm <laughs> it's not long enough <laughs> that's lame huh? didn't really want a hole that big in there there we go Burn 
as a flame From foolish to wise We all cruise the same So we put silicone on the top, the top of the window and the sides of the window, but not on the bottom of the window. And that way, if any water happens to get like behind the window and get down here on the sill, then it can actually run out the bottom of the window. Yeah, it can leak out. Sorry that the window looks so ugly right now. <laughs> now we're gonna put on a little bit of extra sealing power, this black. Tape. This stuff is so sticky. Well, when it's warm, it's so sticky. But it'll, if you stick it together to itself on accident, then you are never gonna get it apart. <laughs> what is it? Get it. We ran out of the special tape to seal that up there. So we just tacked it down to hold it so the wind doesn't catch it. Thankfully, we don't have any precipitation in the forecast for a few days. So we'll be able to get some more and finish that up before it starts raining or snowing again. Lay it on me, I'm listening. I got a good ear, come give it a bend. I can listen all day till you tell it to me. If I heard it before, then let me hear it again. While you let it out, I can take it in. When you got something to say, you can tell it to me. Say what you wanna. That brick molding is going to end up being replaced once we side the house, right? So we have a brick molding that like matches the house. And so technically you're supposed to caulk right underneath that brick molding and then put the door in so it's all sealed. But since we're just gonna be replacing it, what do you think, caulk or don't caulk? I'm thinking don't caulk, just tape around it. But you know what, Jules? Hmm. It may take us a really long time to actually side it and change out that brick molding. So maybe we should cock it because it could be a year or two before we actually get it sided. All right, thanks guys for helping out. We're gonna cock it. You've been with me all along, all along. Oh, he's on my side. You've never gone. You've been with me all along. And you've been holding on, holding on for so long. When others would be gone. Stayed with me all along. You've been with me when I laugh or cry. Anywhere I stood, you were standing by. With me when I'm fine, with me when I'm not. With me when I'm giving everything I got. With me all along, not a cameo. Every scene, every episode, in every video. Skip no scenario. Laugh anywhere we go. You've been with me all along. All along, oh, he's on my side, you never gone. You've been with me all along. All right, so let's see what Jules cooked up here for us. Like, look at these things, man. <laughs> cool looking. And this looks like a lasagna. This is called Sicilian Supper, and Angel at Maker's Movement gave me the recipes. It's the first time I've ever made it. It's egg noodles. It has, like, an Italian sauce with hamburger and cream cheese and lots of goodness in it. This is baked eggplant with Parmesan cheese on it and it's also breaded, so I love eggplant. So I'm hoping this is delicious. <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. Oh, eggplant. Oh, hot. It's a little mushy. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way. It's good and soft and bready and cheesy maybe a little bit. All right, let's try Angel's stuff here. Hmm. Good, just like lasagna to me. What do you think? Is it like lasagna? It's delicious. <laughs> mm. Tastes like lasagna, huh? Yeah, this but is so good. I can taste the the sour cream gives it a different yeah. flavor. I like it, which is really good. Yeah, this it's is way awesome. easier than making 
uh, lasagna too. This is a good one. 10 out of 10, guys. This is great. <laughs> All right, so we got the door set in place right where we want it. It fits perfectly in the hole like you would expect. So what we're going to do is just tip it out so that I can put some some um, silicone underneath the door seal here. And then I'll come back outside and we'll cock all the way around it. So when we put it back in there, it'll be set. And then we can go ahead and shim it and screw it and make sure it's square and everything like that. So Jules is going to be out here holding the door. Jules is holding the door out right now. And what we want to do is silicone all underneath here so that any water that happens to run down the door and get in there won't run into the garage. All right, here we go. Just gonna put a big, fat, Trying to get the shims figured out here for the door so that we can actually mount the door in its hole here. So we're gonna get the shims all set up, screw them in, do the other side, and hopefully the door will be square and open and close nice and easily. So underneath the weather stripping here, we pre-drilled a little hole in there. Not really a hole, but like a countersink. So when we put this screw in, it'll go underneath the surface of the wood and do it easily. Oh, that's good too, huh? Perfect. All right, so we'll go ahead and put another one in down lower, and then this side of the door will be set. Plum. I guess plum and plum. They're both plum. But we are going to have one problem. The extension cord goes through the door. <laughs> so we're gonna have to drill a hole in the side of the, sh of the <laughs> shop or something. Huh. Put it through the window for now. Let's do that. Okay, I'll feed it through. Wow. <laughs> Almost got gotcha. you. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and test it out here. Oh, beautiful, huh? Open it up. Does it stay? Oh, it wants to close. Uh-oh. Maybe it's the wind. There is a slight breeze. I'll put it up to here and see. All right, it wants to stay. I was scared there for a minute. So check it out, man. Bam, it's beautiful. In the next video, we're gonna be installing the other two garage doors and then framing in for the big car doors on the garage. If you'd like to see what else is going on here in our homestead, there's a video right over there you can go ahead and check out. Otherwise, I hope you have a really great day. Keep smiling. And I will see you over in that video in just a second. <laughs>